What's up guys? Excuse my crazy ass looking hair, but I did just get out of bed and I read a comment and it said, how do I achieve the, this Cycle Studio car setup that I once made in Eevee? So how can I convert the Cycle Studio setup to Eevee? And I thought that was a pretty interesting idea, interesting video I could do right away. And also um, this reminded me of how great it is when people give me ideas because I don't have to come up with ideas because I'm sure you guys have way better ideas than I have. So not only do you help me giving me ideas, I help you helping you with your ideas and this video will hopefully even help the full community. So um, if you have any video ideas, just head over to my Instagram, hit me up with your idea and it's actually kind of likely that I'll make that video just like the burnout video. <laughs> So let's stop wasting time and let's convert some cycles to Eevee. So I got the generic car right here. I'm going to swap to Eevee. This is what it looks like. So I do have some materials, but some are not working like the headlights because it was set up for cycles. So we're going to go right over to cycles, enable GPU, go to the preferences and also enable optics to increase the speed of your rendering. So now we're just in a normal standard cycles set up in blender so first things first we're going to turn off the sky i'm going to create a simple floor just a circle or a plane doesn't really matter um just move it to the center uh, not a big deal next we're going to create lights but not area lights we're going to use a cylinder we're going to give it a emission shader on this emission shader we're going to give it a gradient you might already know this light setup but i'm just going to go through it real quick add the gradient to the emission color if we go to render mode, you can see now there is a gradient, but this gradient is in the wrong direction. So we're going to use UVs for that. We're going to go to preferences, enable the node wrangler add-on in case you've never heard of this before. Then on the gradient texture, control T and there you have it, UVs and mappings. We're just going to hook up a value node. We won't need it, but just good practice. Hook up the UVs. So now we're working with UVs. Now we're going to create UVs. So edit mode, U, and project from view inbounds. Um, if we rotate it 90 degrees, then the gradient is also going into the right direction. I thought this was the simplest way with dealing with this problem. Now we're just going to delete the caps. And now I'm just going to flip the cylinder 180 degrees. You could also flip the UVs just so the gradient goes from the bottom to the top. But it's not a big deal. Any wave would work. Whatever looks better to you. So now I'm just going to scale it in position. So it looks okay to have this horizontal line in the car paint. Just a classic configurator studio setup. I'm going to go to standard color management, not the filmic. So I can set up the lights a bit more under control. Now, as you can see, I added a new circle. This is also just going to be an emission glowing light source on the roof. This doesn't look great. If you want a greater studio setup, you should put in a little bit more effort than what I'm doing right here. But the idea of the video is showing you how to get a cycle studio setup to Eevee. So now I'm just going to boost up the exposure a little bit. So it's a bit brighter, not this dark. I'm going to disable the car. So I'm going to add the car to its own collection, disable it. And now I'm going to create a camera, which we're going to take a HDR with or a 360 um, yeah, photo. Also going to turn on smooth shading on the cylinder. I forgot. So we're going to use the panoramic camera and the egg rectangular uh, setup or mode. So now we're going to go to the render settings and uh, turn on EXR. So we're going to create a high dynamic range image and not a PNG. I'm going to use the open image denoiser, but to be honest, I don't really need a denoiser. Um, I'm going to do a power by two 4K um, resolution, but it doesn't really matter what you use here, but it's important that X is double as big as Y. So yeah, now render it out real quick. I accidentally forgot to set the tile size of my buckets, but yeah, still rendered kind of fast. Now save it to the desktop. I'm just calling it environment. So now you created your own high dynamic range irrectangular image. So we're going to disable the light sources. We don't need them anymore. I'm just going to keep the floor, um, get the car back and now head over to Eevee and go to render. And it's dark since we disabled the sky. We're going to add the HDR that we just created here and also uh, put the strength back to one or two or whatever looks good. And now we basically have the light in Eevee. Now we're going to add some ambient occlusion. Um, we're not going to add bloom, no depth of field. Uh, we will add screen space reflections. Um, 
performance we don't need. Uh, shadow we're not using, indirect light we're not using. Um, color management, I'm gonna go back to Filmic and just tweak exposure and gamma a little bit, maybe just tweak the look a little bit more. But as mentioned before, if you put in even more effort, <laughs> I'm sure you can even create highly better looking images than what I'm doing here. Um, I'm just gonna darken the floor a little, little bit so it looks a bit better. Now I'm gonna disable the background HDR, so just a transparent background. So there you have it, not great, but it's okay, I guess. And it proved a point on how to get your studio set up from Cycles to Eevee, so have fun. Mm -hmm.